My name is Bob Kamzelski. I'm the owner and operator of Bantam Bicycle Works in Portland, Oregon. I make custom steel bicycle frames. Mostly I make bicycles for, I'd say traveling as opposed to racing. So like touring bikes and adventure bikes. I do TIG welded frames and Philip raised and lugged. Um, I've been building bicycle frames for about 17 years now. I got a start in building bikes probably 18 years ago. I was really into bike touring and had a hard time finding a bike that fit me well and did what I wanted it to do. So I decided that I wanted to learn bicycle frame building and build a bike. Built my first bike frame in my living room at the group house I lived at in West Philadelphia. I found a plumbing torch in the closet. <laughs> which is what I used to attach everything and bought a bunch of tubes and lugs. I didn't really have a lot of tooling back then. It took about a month to build a bike. I think all I really had was a couple files and a hacksaw and a torch. Uh, it did work out fine. I rode that bike around for a year. I still have the frame. After I kind of got that finished up, I needed a few specialized tools to kind of finish the frame that I didn't have. So I went over to Blinky Cycle Works. I think it was the only frame builder in Philadelphia at the time. My boss there, Stephen Belenke, uh, was fairly impressed with what I did and offered me a job working there. And I started as an apprentice and over the next six and a half years I became like head frame builder. It's something a lot of people don't get these days as like an actual apprentice where you go into something knowing next to nothing and come out of it being a fairly expert at something. So yeah, I moved from Philadelphia to Portland, Oregon, got a job at the United Bicycle Institute. Worked there for about nine months. And when I quit that, I decided to open up my own shop here in Portland and been very slowly building my brand up since then. Been doing pretty good at that. I mean, got about a year and a half wait list at the moment. I feel like got some pretty good name recognition. I didn't do a whole lot of branding or anything. I just decided upon the name Bantam Bicycles. So I came up with the name Bantam, kind of like for a few reasons. One being that I'm kind of a small person. Bantam chickens are on the smaller side. They're also kind of feisty and I'm sort of a feisty guy. I feel like describes me fairly well and hopefully you know, my bikes are in the world. It's kind of exciting and feisty. Part of my like seed money for starting the business came from my inheritance when my grandparents died. They owned a farm and so like a lot of the money that came to start this business actually came from the sale of their farm when they died. So it was kind of an agricultural connection. So what makes my bikes kind of different and special compared to like other bikes, especially compared to like the, you know, production bicycles for sure. You know, my bikes are custom fitted to the rider, not only in like sizing and tube selection, it's very much like tailored to the individual rider for who they are and how they ride and what they do with their bikes, um, which is something you really can't get with like a production bicycle. I also, have my own kind of like individual style, how I do things and what my frames look like. When you look at a custom bike especially, like you can look at it and be like, oh yeah, like I see who made that bike. Phantom bikes are always gonna look like other Phantom bikes. They're not gonna look like whatever else frame builders out there. The bikes I build, I feel like I put a lot of effort into making sure they're well-made, <laughs> crafted well, and meant to last for a long time. Um, I tend not to make bikes that are like super lightweight, just kind of tend more towards durability and utility than fanciness and lightweight kind of stuff. You know, some of my influences in you know, being a frame builder and like my aesthetic style is very much influenced by like how I learned bikes, which kind of has a direct lineage from English frame building. I feel like it kind of comes out a lot in the finish work that happens on the bikes. Just the way that I finish my joints, like the fillet joints and the lugs is a bit different than how other people do it. I feel like I spend a lot more time than most people doing the actual finish work on the bicycles. I feel like my favorite part of the frame building process, right now it's actually designing the frames, laying everything out and kind of designing it, trying to get it to fit the customer properly and 
probably one of the very few people out there that still hand draft all their plans out. I draw everything out full size on a big sheet of paper. It kind of gives me the ability to kind of see everything as it's actually going to be when I build it. I don't think a lot of people do that these days. Most people use like a bike CAD program on their laptop, kind of design things. So the type of bike that I like to build the most these days are kind of off-road touring bikes. I guess people call them bike packing bikes these days, but sort of like wider tires meant for like going bike touring out and like forest service roads and single track kind of presents a different set of challenges in like designing than like a on road touring bike or a mountain bike very much different than both of those i feel like my relationship to like biking and cycling has very much influenced me as a frame builder i'm a lifelong cyclist like i don't even have a driver's license so i bike everywhere to work to get my kid from school get groceries go to the hardware store like everything probably get in a car like three times a year. I'm a very practical cyclist. Most of my cycling is commuting. You know, like I want to build bikes that are durable and useful. Um, almost every single bike that I build has some way of carrying baggage of some sort. And there's different design considerations that go into that. Like road racing bikes and mountain bikes aren't really designed to carry weight on them. It kind of mixes things up a bit and you really got to take that into consideration when you're designing the bike and I think having that relationship that I have with bicycles like really lets me understand that a lot better than I would otherwise. My goals for the future of Bantam Bicycle Works is mostly that I'd like it to be my full-time occupation. Right now it's a part-time gig. Um, I work at it two or three days a week. I have another job. Eventually I'd like it to be you know, what I do for a living all the time. That's where I'm headed and I would like, you know, that to happen.